So lately, there's been a lot of content regarding relationships being uploaded to the internet, and it has absolutely captured my attention. Some of it is thought provoking, and some of it is, is pure entertainment. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I, I, I be in there. <laughs> and one of the things that I've seen a lot is people saying, don't get married. It's a horrible thing and you should run as far away from it as possible. And so I thought as a happily married man that I would throw my two cents into the mix to tell you why you should not get married. Yet. So this is not the video that I planned to do today, but we're gonna go with it. I wanna start off by saying that this video is based on my experience as a married man, as well as things that I've learned from a lot of other married people who have been married way longer than your boy. Let's get into it. So the first reason that I don't believe you should say I do is if you are selfish and have no plans on changing. I'm gonna simply put it like this you cannot be married and selfish at the same time. It does not work. I believe that marriage is about the duty to serve your spouse and your children if you choose to have them. And matter of fact, if you focus on serving each other, there's not even a need to be selfish. Sometimes I try to outserve my wife. <laughs> you think you can out care me, do you? I'll show you. And let me just add that serving each other is not just about doing nice things or doing the things that you want someone else to do. Those things are great to do. You know, sometimes I come home and I bring a Milky Way for my wife and she's like, oh, you stopped and you thought about me. Those are cool, that's great. But more importantly, it would be things like me making sure that my family is safe, making sure that my family is financially secure, making sure that I'm an example of the man I want my son to be or the man that I want my daughter to marry, being a good listener, being there in the time of need, maybe put putting gas in my wife's car, making sure that her car is washed, you know, things like that. So not being selfish in a marriage means putting your wants and your desires to the side in order to make sure that what's good for the family takes precedence. All right, the second reason that you should not take part in the holy matrimony is if you're getting married for the feeling of love and happiness. The reason that I say this is because feelings are fleeting. They don't last. Now, this goes for good feelings and bad feelings. We don't discriminate. I can even admit that my wife and I aren't always happy, but we understand that those feelings are temporary. Now, overall in our marriage, we're happy, right? But there are moments where things aren't perfect and that happiness feeling isn't as strong as it was maybe when we first got started. But what we've both decided to do is not make a permanent decision based on a temporary feeling. That just isn't wise. You have to understand that the, the butterflies in your stomach are gonna fade one day, that the things that may have excited you at the beginning of a relationship may not excite you anymore. Let's be honest, that's in any long-term relationship, not just marriage. The beautiful thing about it is now you get to discover other things that might excite your relationship. You get to grow and adapt together. Currently, dates are a lot more exciting for my wife and I because we have a little one that requires a lot of our attention. So it's cool to have those butterflies in your stomach and it's cool to feel the, I don't know, oogie googies, whatever you wanna call it. But those feelings should not be the foundation of deciding to get married. The third reason that you should not tie the knot is if you are preparing for divorce. And here's what I mean, and I really don't wanna to go too deep into it. I just wanna mention a few things, but I'm mostly talking about people who save money on the side just in case things don't work out, or people who may look at a potential next spouse just in case things don't work out. My biggest problem with this is, is mindset. And again, this is my opinion, so don't, don't get mad at me. Even when my wife and I got married, we decided that whatever we need to work out, we're gonna work out. Divorce is not an option for us. And I think it could be dangerous to walk into a marriage with the mindset of, I'm gonna prepare for the failure of this union because I believe that mindset can have a significant impact on your marriage. This is just my opinion, please don't get mad at me. The fourth reason that I don't believe you should walk down the aisle is if you aren't intentional about dating or courting. Now this isn't a hard, I don't think you should get married if you don't do this, but I just think that being intentional can increase your chances of having a better union. Now, I personally prefer courting, but you can check out this video up here where I talk about the differences between dating and courting and why courting is the best don't at me. I mean, you can you can at me and we can talk about it, but I just I just really wanted to say that cuz 
it felt cool at the time. But I think that when you are purposeful in finding a significant other, it can increase the chances of finding the right person for you. And once you find that right person, having a more successful relationship. It's also better than just, just kind of winging it. Just have a good vetting process is basically what I'm trying to say. All right, the final reason that I don't think you should get married is that if you have a Disney perspective on marriage. Now, your boy K. Soul here is sort of a movie buff. I love watching TV. I love going to the movies. I wish I had more time to go. When I do have time, I'm in there. I'm locked in. And one thing that I notice is that the way relationships are portrayed in these movies and in these films is not accurate. It's the furthest thing from reality. And as kids, we grow up watching these Disney movies and the way that relationships are depicted in these movies is like everything is happily ever after, sunshine, rainbows, and Chick-fil-A nuggets. Well, the, the Chick-fil-A nuggets is is a thing in my marriage at least. It makes me very happy. But the thing that they don't show a lot of times is that marriage can be work and that sometimes you will go through tough times. And then sometimes even with those tough times, sometimes they may last a while. I knew a couple who was unhappy for like three years of their marriage, but then the 10, 15 years after that, they said it was the best years of their life. You take vows for a reason. So I just wanna put that out there as well. But the point is if we don't have a good understanding that sometimes marriage can be work or sometimes there will be tough times and we just think that marriages are supposed to be Disney-fied, well then the first tough times that come, we're gonna be ready to pack our bags and roll out. I understand that marriage isn't for everyone, but I also believe that everybody has the potential to have a successful marriage. So I do think that if you are a person who's going to decide to get married or you've decided to get married, you should think about the why behind your getting married as well as some of the things that I've mentioned in this video. I am a pro-marriage person for people who choose that life. And as people embark on this new chapter in their lives and their relationships I want them to be successful for a lot of different reasons but that can be a separate video so let me know your thoughts below are you pro marriage anti marriage did I get something wrong is there something you can add to the list I want to hear from you until the next time it's your boy K soul peace